everyone, I am Pokenoob and this is where to buy Pokemon cards. Hey Squirtle, do you know where to buy Pokemon cards? Yeah, you should see this video by Pokenoob on YouTube. Squirtle, Squirtle, chat, chat, popa, popa, let's go. Where to buy Pokemon cards? I guess this will be more an European guide because that's where I live. Like I said on the video before, I live in Amsterdam. So what I'm about to show you is your buying options for European markets, basically. So I think across the all Europe, it's more or less the same. There aren't a lot of local um, shops that sell Pokemon cards. And as you will see with my research, the prices tend to be a little higher than online stores and a good a good country to buy Pokemon cards is definitely the UK because the online stores are mostly there and they offer free shipping so with without the shipping you only buy the pack price so it's really cool and yeah I'm going to show you my research you are seeing my research now I was, like I said, um, in November came out Vivid Voltage, so it was a pretty easy decision for me what to buy. And I wanted to start with a, a brand new collection, obviously. So I set out to search for uh, stores and I started by the local ones. So you can see here that we have two main local stores that sell Pokemon um, co uh, collections, like they sell packs, they sell boxes, uh, they sell a lot of things. So yeah. And you can see that mainly the prices are higher here than on online stores. So removing the shipping because I can just walk there and buy it. It would be all the eight packs that I bought, 47 um, euros. And if uh, I would want to buy um, online, the, there are a lot of uh, online stores that have really nice prices, but most of them are in UK. So, for example, this first one and these two last ones are in the UK. So I have to take into consideration a big shipping price. So it brings the total price close to the not not that close, but still pretty close to the online source. Then I found this really cool website that's called Card Market that has a lot of different prices from it's not uh, only stores that sell it, it's individual people. So you can have a lot of different prices with, uh, from a lot of different countries and it, it, the shipping depends on them. So in the, in the end, this was the best price to, for me, it's for eight packs, th th uh, 34 uh, euros with including shipping. And it was pretty fast, three days to arrive, packaged really neatly. You can see um, in here uh, in the video, me unpacking it, it was pretty difficult because it was really, really good, well uh, packaged. And yeah, these were the prices for single packs. I was pretty set on, on buying single packs, but then I wanted to search a little bit more. So I went on for trainer boxes. And what I saw is that they are cool. Trainer boxes is really cool for people that want to collect, not only for collection, but to play as well. So these are worth it for players. And they include 8 packs as well, that's why I was comparing it with the 8 packs. Uh, 65 uh, Vivid Voltage Pikachu sleeves, uh, 45 TCG Energy cards, so this is related to the, to the game. Uh, a collection guide and some random stuff like dice and other stuff that I didn't really care, but for a player it's good. And yeah, so the trainer box, you can see that the price is a lot different from buying single 8 packs. Even when I searched online, the prices were similar to the to the local store. So it wasn't really an advantage to me. I didn't want to have like 45 energy cards or the random uh, dices and everything. So it was pretty much going with the, the eight packs. Yeah, so this, this um, month I spent 34 um, euros on the eight packs. And uh, like I said, I had a 50 euro uh, budget. So uh, I wanted to save some because Black Friday was coming and I was like searching for um, cool um, promotions and yeah you can check as well the lo your local stores for promotions because sometimes they, they happen so that's 
what happened to me. I was 13 and I found this cool box was in a really nice promotion. It was 25 euros originally and it was at 40, 40 no, uh, 14. So yeah, and you can see that um, it, this has the Pikachu um, card, uh, the V Pikachu, and then it has four uh, booster packs and uh, online promo card. And I, if I remember correctly from the research I did, this has two packs for Darkness of Blaze, one for Sword and Shield and one for Sun and Moon. And this was a cool one because I did a little bit of digging myself on the I want to fill out all this this list with the booster boxes values and the booster packs and then each of the best card you can see here that I already have the sword and shield collection uh, filled and if I would buy this um, online uh, mainly this the booster prices I take it from the card market as well but this will all be in my next video I will fill this out to you so to help decide what is the best collection to start uh, collecting. So this would come out to 1199, uh, 11.19, but you have to consider that this would be individual uh, booster packs uh, plus shipping. Maybe you, I could buy this at local stores, but probably all these four wouldn't come together. So yeah, in the end, I think it was a really nice price and it came up to my total of 50 euros, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, you know now where to buy cards in Europe, basically, Card Market is a really, really good um, website. They don't not, not only have single packs or boosters, they have booster boxes, they have sleeves, they have uh, single cards, so it's really nice to benchmark to see uh, the prices of everything around the... Um, basically the world i i i think i i there are the countries that are there are not just european but uh i'm not sure about that part and yeah it's really 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 cool site i was in doubt uh, to choose it or not because i wasn't sure if it was trustworthy the shipping but they have a really nice feature that they only give the money to the seller when you declare that the pack cards arrived and it really has another uh, cool thing that you can see where the seller is from. So in my case, I was checking the sellers from the Netherlands and I even messaged a couple ones to see if they would sell a local. So I wouldn't have to go through the shipping part. So yeah, card market is a really good option, but and another couple of online web stores that I will put the link down in the description for you to check it out. So next video, uh, join me, it will be just an unpacking of this one. This was just an explanation of where to buy uh, Pokemon cards in basically Europe. I think this applies to any country in Europe basically, except for the UK because the prices will be lower. The, most of the, the online stores don't include shipping on the prices, so that's really nice. So yeah, join me next video to open this one.